Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 15th, 2020. My goodness, it's hard to believe we're already in the middle of October. And yesterday we saw a little bit of reemergence of the bears as uncertainty over coronavirus, I mean, uh, stimulus, coronavirus stimulus package um, faded. Um, after a news report, and I have been suggesting um, in the morning report that we will likely see some sensitivity to news on stimulus as well as coronavirus. And that seems to be playing out this morning, unfortunately. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. You know, everyone, when we look at the market, we can always have plenty of hopefulness that things will play out as we would like to see them play out. But one of the things we always have to remember in the market, the market um, really doesn't care whether we make money or whether we lose money. And if we trade based on hopefulness or wild speculation, it will often punish us um, pretty severely. And I think that's what we're experiencing this morning. This morning, we're looking sadly at a substantial gap down in the market. Those news events that I uh, have been kind of worried about seem to be playing out here. We were overextended in this market. And this morning, we're getting um, a, an ugly push down here in the indexes. So take a look. You can see this is this morning's candle right now. We're looking at a substantial pushback it has improved slightly from um uh, recent or, or lows this morning um, after the morgan stanley report that topped estimates but it may not be enough to overcome the uncertainty out there um, as these coronavirus numbers um, really begin to weigh once again on market sentiment. So let's take a look at this and see what we can um, uh, glean from this. I meant, yesterday, I kind of mentioned the possibility that if we were to pull back, we're going to have to um, pay attention to these support levels in the chart because it was a pretty ugly decline to reach that down there. Well, after a 200 point drop yesterday and um, what's looking like uh, a possible 250 point um, gap down this morning, we could reach that um, support level in the Dow here very quickly. Now, if we take a look at the um, moving averages in here, notice that we could still have more downside opportunity if the bears really pile on. So there's our current price support in the chart. Notice our 50-day moving average is still significantly lower um, than that. So we really could see the, that selling come in to bring us right back down here to that 50 day moving average. If they pile, if those bears are able to pile on, can't say that they will be able to, but that possibility does exist. So keep an eye on that. Could be kind of a challenging day today as those news reports really seem to be weighing heavy on the market this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also pulling back substantially, and we still have some room to go lower, unfortunately. Notice that we have some price support in here, and we could come down into there and test that level as the price support. And then, unfortunately, our 50-day moving average so far away from that surge to the top and all that speculative hope of a stimulus deal now kind of fading pretty pretty quickly. And as you can see, we still could sink down into that level um, pretty quickly. So watch that carefully. There is some additional price support in here off of this inverted head and shoulders pattern. That's our shoulder level in there. So um, there is that outside possibility um, over the next few days, we even slip below the 50 day moving average to test a level down in there if these current levels that we're looking at here don't hold. So watch watch that carefully. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. QQQ started to suggest a little bit of trouble yesterday with um, some of the big techs giving back um, some gains. And we left behind kind of a, 
uh, well, a uh, uh, concerning pattern here in the chart. This is um, essentially an evening star pattern, a bearish pattern, candlestick pattern in the chart, and it, unfortunately it happens to come in at a lower high. So we're pulling back pretty hard this morning on these events. Let's take a look, and you can see we do have some price support in this area so as we pull back we'll want to be watching for that possibility of dropping into this area we could also try and garner some support right off of that big gap so we might catch a, um, a little support there initially don't be too surprised if we sink down into here and if those levels don't hold then watch that 50-day moving average as a possibility in the days forward um so much uncertainty in this market and unfortunately um, I think there was plenty of warnings out there that we had overextended and hopefully you heeded those warnings and were not over trading this. In fact, hopefully you were uh, do making some efforts to protect yourself um, from that danger. Now here in IWM, we have kind of an interesting situation with the financials really starting to well, attempting to show some signs of picking up with just enough positive earnings reports that we're trying to hold, at least, IWM has certainly made a nice surge back up. And we surged up into some um, considerable price resistance levels here in the chart. If I slide that line up here, you can see we banged right into these lows and now this morning we're pulling back from that but the good news is is we also have some support levels in here and we're pulling back toward that right now um, with this gap down open let's watch that closely if that can hold in their support we certainly could receive a bounce off of that but let's also note that that 50-day moving average is still substantially lower and if this were to fail that possibility of coming down into that 50-day level and the price support that exists right in here does seem like a possibility so watch that closely in case those bears decide to really pile on this morning let's take a look at the vix and that vix has really been pretty unhelpful overall but there was some concern and i mentioned this yesterday that we bounced um back above that 50-day moving average here on the VIX. A little more fear coming in yesterday with a little bit of back and forth on that. Now this morning, that fear is likely to spike up again. We could certainly come back up here and make another a test, test of that 200-day moving average on fear. Um, if it continues to hold it, um, then we're, we could be in really good shape. But if that fear were to spike above and hold above, and I don't think just a spike above like we did here makes any difference. We're going to have to spike above and then prove to hold it as support. That's where the real selling could come in if it does come in. So watch that closely. And please keep in mind, there is still that possibility out there. There's still that hopefulness with Speaker Pelosi and Munchen continuing to talk. I guess they're going to talk again today for a stimulus package. It just may not come prior to earning or prior to the election and um well that could you know just prove to be um a another volatile spike that could occur in the market on a news report that's that's positive for potential stimulus so we could whip down and turn around and whip right back up so be very very careful out here this is not a market for the faint of heart it's not a market for speculation and it's a very dangerous market for those who are inexperienced in trading this kind of environment and very adept day traders are making uh, great great profits on a, on days like today, but it's chopping up the accounts of the majority of those traders out there. So be very, very careful. Um, try to avoid the emotional reaction to these things and um, um, be just uh, stand aside if um, um, you have some concerns over this market. If you've been losing consistently lately based on this chop, please, Stop trading and stand aside. Protect your capital. This will eventually work itself out. The market will eventually figure this out and things will get better. 
but there's no need, there is no requirement for you to risk your money in an environment like this. Be very careful. Let's take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. And I have been echoing this day after day to be careful because T2122 was signaling a very overbought condition um, to the extreme even. And we started that little pullback the last couple of days. And now this morning, um, we're likely to be hammering that quite a little bit lower here on this gap down open. Now, whether or not those bears actually jump onto that and really start pushing in hard, or if those bulls um, uh, uh, jump in to defend, we'll have to watch that closely. How this turns out today, I have no idea, but it certainly is playing out that that wave lower has come into play and we should be paying attention and heeding the warnings of T2122 rather than the wild-eyed speculation that drove this market up to such extreme levels. So um, uh, just, you know, heed those warnings and uh, trade accordingly. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And we do have quite a little bit that um, could move us around this morning on that economic calendar. If you notice today, prior to market open, we're going to get the jobless claims report. Um, right now, consensus is suggesting that we should see a slight improvement in that jobless claims, but I'm concerned about this number with all of the all of the news about um, um, oil sector layoffs, airline sector layoffs, Disney laying off, all of those things. I'm running into to some um, concerns here that we could start to see this uh, tick higher rather than lower. So unless the economy is a lot stronger than I suspect it to be, and we're really hiring a bunch of these laid off folks um, right away, this number could be a little bit of a concern this morning. Let's watch that closely. We also have the Philly Fed Manufacturing, Empire Strait Manufacturing, and Import Export Prices um, to deal with this morning. We have the Petroleum Status Report, a parade of Fed speakers, and Treasury Statement and Fed Balance Sheet. But these down here, nobody really cares about this. We just don't seem to have any any care at all about how much debt we drive up right now, as long as we can keep the market moving higher. So I don't expect those to make much difference today, but definitely watch these. We could see this um, pre-market situation either improve dramatically, or we could see it worsen dr dramatically, depending on how all of this data comes out. And adding to that data, we have earnings today. We have some notable earnings today. Um, only about 13 companies that are verified reports, but we'll want to take a look at those. Um, we have um, UAL um, Airlines um, reporting. They reported a, uh, a one and a half billion dollar uh, loss um, in the quarter. Um, they did cut their cash burn apparently, um, and I'm guessing they did that with layoffs and um, deferments and that kind of thing. But watch that closely. Um, not a big surprise that UAL, DAL um, could have a difficult time on their reports this morning. Shouldn't be a major surprise on that. Um, we did see Morgan Stanley report today, and they, uh, they topped estimates based on their uh, trading, market trading. And um, you can see they're trying to, trying to move up just a little bit this morning, but the weight of this sell-off this morning is uh, kind of dampening the spirits here. And notice we still have this downtrend uh, to contend with here in Morgan Stanley. So watch that closely. We've got some price resistance that we're dealing with. So um, hopefully that good positive report will help us hold up, but we also run that risk that the market sentiment kind of drive us back lower from those resistance levels. We will also see reports today from um, um, Charles Schwab. We'll uh, find out how they report right now. The market is indicating lower. Um, TC2000 is now showing uh, pre-market activity. So that's what that candle is looking like in the pre-market, pushing down um, this morning on that Schwab. And um, we have um, Taco um, uh, Del Taco reporting today. This is actually holding in a very nice pattern. And fast food restaurants seem to have done really, really well 
in coronavirus um, situations because folks can get out and get their their food without making a physical contact with folks. So kind of keep an eye on that nice little um, rising pattern here, breaking through that resistance, trying to hold, watch for that report, um, could have a substantial impact on that chart. ISRG, um, Intuit Surgical, um, is reporting today. Now this one faces a bit of a challenge, as you can see, a bit of a double top high could be forming here in this chart. So watch that carefully. Right now it's indicating a little bit lower, but that would be a little bit of a concern on that chart. So watch that closely. We also have uh, TFC I've placed as uh, one of the notables, um, another uh, financial uh, company here reporting looks like it's indicating lower here this morning and WBA which has just been a dismal chart for a long long time um, I put it on here um, because it's important it's a um, one of those charts that you hope will eventually turn around but right now not looking so good um, overall you can see it gapped up uh, substantially pushing up big time on their earnings report this morning and now pulling back so watch that closely could be uh, some more volatility coming in here and even some possible more additional downside here as this trend just continues to go on and on years into this downtrend in WBA let's take a look at some of those stocks that could be setting up um, but before we do that, guys, if this is the first time that you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that uh, thumbs or bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these earnings. And also, if you feel the video is worthy, if, it, if you find these videos being helpful to you in preparing for your market day, please do me a favor click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and please feel free to share, the, share these videos on any of the social platforms out there. If you find it helpful, maybe some other folks will, and you can pass that along. Thank you to everyone who does that. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks, and please, guys, keep in mind anything is possible this morning. And these are not recommendations to buy or sell. Um, as a matter of fact, I never make a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It's just part of the education I provide. Please remember to do your own due diligence on any one of these trades. One of the stocks, that, one of the trades that I have been paying attention to, wanting to re-enter, um, Rightway Options, we were in this trade over in here, um, had a beautiful upside move in FCX. And I do think there is some positiveness here in copper. You can see pre-market this morning, we're looking at the this pullback. I don't think this trade is ready yet for prime time. What's what's going to be important though is if we can hold on to this little upside trend. Copper has a pretty good story with all the building going on, um, all of the effort going into um, solar and electric cars. That just that's just going to take massive amounts of copper. Um, to uh, make that happen. So keep a close eye on this. If this can hold in this area, there might be some upside opportunity here to pay attention to. I also yesterday started keeping um, an eye on gold. Gold was trying yesterday, trying to move up. What's interesting this morning is we're actually seeing gold slip a little bit based on this negative market. But watch it carefully. We're trying to uh, push around in this uh, and break above this downtrend. If we can make that downtrend break, if gold can push up here, just that little bit of safety running to safety, um, if the market is going to sell off, we might see gold perk up. And just keep in mind as we continue, um, as governments continue to just print money, um, around the world at an unbelievable rate, um, gold could become much more valuable um, in relation to currency. So watch that close. Um, other charts out there that are showing some interesting signs. Take a look at this GRWG. I mentioned this one yesterday. It ended up pulling back and that's okay because we continue to rest in here under this trend. Let's watch this today. If that can hold some support in here, bounce back up in this range. You can see I placed an alert up here and it is possible that I could even move that alert tighter if we can get a couple three days um, of tighter rest in here. But watch that carefully. Um, this may have some opportunity 
to perk back up. We want to keep an eye on these retailers that have been quite strong, but are starting to fade just a little bit here in the last few days. Um, we see Nike pulling back, maybe breaking down just a little tiny bit, but retail has held up so strong, we could see that opportunity of them popping right back up in here. Keep a close eye on Nike. Keep a close eye on Walmart. Um, Walmart pulled back um, yesterday and looks like it's pulling back today, but we're still holding um, up trends in that chart. Let's watch that carefully. Um, by the way, um, uh, full disclosure here, I own Walmart, have owned it for some time. So I do ha probably have a bias on this, but watch that closely if we can hold some support and if that starts to perk back up um also hold nio nio got i got paid really well yesterday on nio continue to hold that position and it looks like we're trying to push even higher this morning on nio a lot of very much a speculation company here in the electric car industry but pushing up very very hard i had pointed out a possible bull put credit spread to folks in um, right way options as well as um, directional long call trades or even just a stock purchase which i went with i went with the stock purchase so i could sell um, sell the high volatility of this stock um, against it in calls but this is just working out really well right now now please be careful here don't chase this move um, we are, we're so far uh, away from a stop loss now. Don't chase this move. Wait for the next entry into this trade. But it's nice to see that even in a bearish market, there are stocks um, that are showing bullishness. So watch that close. Um, McDonald's has been holding up really, really, really well. Um, breaking through this resistance up here, kind of chopping around in this area, sliding over toward the trend. Watch this carefully if that starts to um, break through. Again, Again, fast food, coronavirus seem to be going um, hand in hand together. So watch that. And I just want to continue to echo this over and over and over to, to focus on some of these shippers as everyone is buying online, buying their products online. I don't think that trend is going to go away, particularly with coronavirus spiking back up. I think it will just only increase. That bodes really well for companies like FedEx and UPS. You'll want to keep those stocks on your radar um, for the time being. They could easily continue to make those moves higher. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I know this is going to be kind of a disappointing morning for a lot of folks, but, um, you know, take, a, take that deep breath. Try to avoid the panic. Focus on um, your charts. Focus on that price action. Make your decisions based on good, clear business decisions and the rules that you tra trade, not emotion, so that you can avoid this crazy wild volatility that this market is in. It is very dangerous. Be very, very careful. Everyone have an awesome day. I wish you all the best, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a good day.